welcome back to my channel. Today is a special day because it's my birthday. So I'm going to be sharing with you my birthday beat. Um, and today is actually a very, very, very special video. I mean, not just because it's the best day in the world, but because I have some new products that I get to test out and share with you. First product, as you all know, I love the Juvia palettes. I have a new one, the Zulu. It has nine very vibrant shades. So you'll get to see me test out a few of these. And also, because I am so cool with Rihanna, she decided, you know, to release her makeup line, you know, for my birthday. It's a special birthday gift to me. I mean, you know, I have no proof to back that up, but I believe it. So, I get to test out today one of the highlighters from Fenty Beauty. Now, the one I really wanted, Trophy Wife, was sold out. But, you know, I'll have it at another point, I'm sure. And I also got this stick here. One of the highlighter sticks here so I'm gonna play with these as well and I know some of you are like well what about the foundation I had to order the foundation because again uh, everybody was freaking out in Sephora and it was all sold out so there will be another video probably at the end of the week or next week so I can let you know how I like the foundation but from testing it out in the store um, I really did like it. It matched my skin perfectly. I love how she has all of these shades, especially all these different shades for women of color because it's extremely hard to match our tones and our varying shades. So, um, Rihanna took, I feel like she took a risk by making all of these shades, but it was very, very, very well needed, especially when uh, most companies carry at the most 10 to 12 different shades of foundation. And clearly, there's a wide range of um, shade of women. So, I'm super excited to test that out. When I get it, you all will be the first to know. And let's see. I'm going to do a lot of talking today because I'm very excited. Clearly, you know, I even have my special cup. If you know me, you know I love a good elephant. So... Right, I'm gonna go off camera and go ahead and do my foundation. Um, you've all seen my foundation routine before. I am using um, until I get my Fenty. I'm just gonna use my Mac Studio Fix and my Anastasia Contour Cream Palette. So I'm gonna go ahead do all of my um, foundation and basic contouring, and I will be back to show you my highlighting with my new highlighter and my foundation with my new. Palette. All right, I'll be back. Hi, you guys. All right, so my foundation is on. I'm baking, as you can see, and I like to leave the powder on as I'm doing my eyeshadow. Um, that way, if any residue falls, it just falls into the powder. I can brush it off. It won't affect my makeup at all. Again, I am using the Zulu palette. Don't you just love this packaging? So pretty. Um. And I'm also going to use the Fenty Beauty Highlighter Stick. Now, this particular stick can be used three different ways. So, I'm going to show you the three ways that I'm going to use it. And let's go ahead and jump on into our colors here. What do I want to do? Oh, oh, and I also have, I almost forgot to tell you. I also got um, the Masquerade Eyeliner Kit from Juvia as well for birthday gift. So, it has this black gel liner and there's also a brown gel liner. I'm not using the brown one today. Um, that'll be at a later date, but I will be using the black. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Um, where do I want to start? Where do I want to start with? Hmm. Let's go with this color here. And I did not put on any primer um, for my eyeshadow. That's just to let you see how vibrant um, these colors come on with no primer. 
That's why I really do enjoy the Juvia's. They are very pigmented, as you can see. Extremely pigmented. You don't have to work really hard um, for them to look good. Alright, so now that I have like some of my base colors, I'm just going to go in with a nice little brush and just kind of blend it all together, mainly focusing on blending that teal color into the crease more because it's a very vi vibrant and bright color. I don't want it to overpower the rest of the things that I'm going to do. So it's still there, but just muted, a lot more muted. And you see right there, this is why I leave that powder on because it's so it fell in a little bit. All right, so uh, now that I have kind of gotten a little base, it's a little blended, I'm going to take the blonde. Let me see. Let me see if I can just... I can get it where I want it. Hold on. Yeah. That part. It's so bright. Yes. Yes, honey. As you can see, I'm just pulling it into the crease, to the corner there and up into the crease. Really pulling it all around my lid. I'm doing a few layers of it because I really want it to be extra golden. And I'm just dabbing into where I've already pulled it. <laughs> yes, honey. Mm. All right. And of course, whatever color I like to use on my lid or as a highlighted color, I like to put under my brow there. Right. And I have not added any more of the color to this brush. I just use what was still left on this brush just to kind of deepen that green a little bit more. And remember when you are applying your eyeshadow to do little small circles because that kind of helps you blend as you're applying. It's like killing two birds with one stone. Alright. Almost there. What I'm now going to do is take the Fenty highlighter. And there are two colors in this one. Um, this is Ginger Binge and this is Moscow Mule. Here. I'm going to take the uh, Moscow Mule, which is the more glittery color, and I am, excuse me, just going to apply it right here. And I actually think I want to pull it up across this darker color. Just a little bit. Just to give me some glitter. It's my birthday, so I want to be glitterful. Alright, and finally we're going to take a blending brush. See if I can find one among my zillion brushes. And push it all together. You do all of this work to get a zil to and put on a zillion colors and you want them all to look like one smooth color.
Now let's do our liner. This is the brush that came with my Juvia liner set. Um, this side has an angled brush in and this one has a not angled brush in. <laughs> I'm going to use the um, angled end because we're going to do a little bit more of a cat eye. stuff is so vibrant and thick. Whoa. I was not expecting it to be this vibrant. Like, whoa, my cat eye is super thick. Okay, hold on. It's so thick. I wasn't expecting that. So let's thin this out just a little bit. There we go. That's my and you just take a little bit of concealer and just kind of thin it out just a little bit there we go you see that's a lot better right I mean if you make a little mistake with your eyeliner, it's fine. No need to panic. You can always correct it with concealer. That's what it's for. I know, I think I'm gonna do better on this side. I didn't realize it was gonna be that thick. Isn't it the biggest pain trying to match your eyeliner? Like, oh my gosh, one eye is always like, yes, and the other eye is like, okay, we're gonna get there eventually. <laughs> All right, now that we have brushed off our liner, I mean our own um, powder, we're gonna go back in and do our under eye makeup. Um, so to do our under eye makeup, I'm just gonna use my basic, um, I'm not gonna do my gel liner, put that up. I'm just going to do my basic pencil liner. That's the first step here. All right, no eye look would be perfect or complete without some mascara. Now, if you notice, if you've been watching my channel for a while, um, I'm sure you notice that I don't do lashes a lot. Um, just don't. All right, so now that we have our eyes done, I'm going to move on to my cheeks. And for my blush, I'm going to again go to my new Fenty Beauty um, highlighter palette. And um, so we used this color. We used this color on our eyes. I'm going to use this color as my cheek color. Oh, that's so pretty. Uh, oh. Look at me with my rosy cheeks. Oh. This is so pretty. Mm. 
うんうんうん、うん、Alright blend that in a little bit Oh, I like that. Yes. Because it has that glitter in it. So my blush color is like even better now. Alright, and for my highlight, I'm going to go back in with this blonde stick. And normally I do my highlights along my cheeks. But today, I'm actually going to do it on the outside. And like a little, a little uh, arrow to the outside of my face. Alright, I'm going to deepen my contour just a little bit and to do that, I'm going to use my um, Film Noir Blush from MAC. Hold on, if I can find it. Because my cheeks and highlighter is so light and glittery that I just want to give it a little bit more of a dimension I don't want to be too bright I'm liking it alright and last but not least Time for the lipsticks. All right. And now I'm going to give you the third way to use the stick give your lipstick just a little bit of a highlight as well highlight it all and yes I'm wiping it off before I close it up so. Alright you guys, so this is my birthday beat using my new Juvia palette and Fenty Beauty highlighters. Hold on. Move my happy birthday crown. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, you know what would be the best birthday gift for me if I got 200 views likes and shares like that's it I'm not asking for a lot just 200 <laughs> all right so please gift me you sharing this video on your facebook instagram twitter snapchat uh whatever vine i don't care whatever social media platform you use go down there don't just like the video, don't just subscribe to my channel, but actually share my videos, okay? Let other people see it. If you like this look, if you enjoy this look, if there's a different look that you want to see, just hit me in the comments. Let me know what you think, or wish me happy birthday, and let me know that you've shared my video with other people. Thank you all for tuning in. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. I'm finna go finish my elephant and enjoy the rest of my day i'll see y'all when i get my latest fenty beauty product and i'll talk to y'all later peace